Creating a game in Gano can be really exciting. So exciting that you can flat out forget the basic settings of your project. And these settings can transform your game's presentation from a simple school project into a game that people would actually want to play and buy. Here's what you need to know. So someone downloaded your game. Awesome! But the first thing they see won't be the blood, sweat, and tears you put into your design or your visuals. It's this little guy. There may be a certain pride to having the Gato logo as your icon, but it's not the most professional look. Create your own, head to Project Settings, Application, Config, and change the default icon for your game. And while we're on first impressions, the next thing people may see will be the loading splash screen. With an application, Boot Splash, you can change the background color and default image for the splash screen. Eventually, you may want a more complex intro with multiple images or a video, but at least change it from the default Gato Splash, or make it your own with some color adjustments. Your game has to start somewhere, and if you don't specify the main scene of your game, well, good luck. It can be easy to forget, but make sure you set the main scene of your project by going to Application, Run, and select the first scene you want to load when someone opens your game. You finish your game, publish, and find out it's called My Untitled Game 123. Head to Application, Config, and make your name cool again like Doom Vengeance 3 Hell Hath No Fury, or something like that. And for your international audiences, you can add localized names as well for different translations by clicking the Add Translation button and selecting a language and a country. The number of Gato projects sent to me that open like this... It's too damn high! Windowed games have a place. But if it's supposed to be a full screen game, make full screen the default. Head to display, window, and adjust the mode to full screen. Players expect full screen, and if shown a window, it may make your game seem more... What is this amateur hour? If you're looking for style consistency, a custom mouse cursor can go a long way. And thankfully, it's easy. Head to display, mouse cursor, and select a custom image to be used for your mouse, as well as the hotspot and the tooltip offset. I covered this in a separate tutorial video, but it bears repeating. You can directly import Blender files into your Gato project. You'll need to set up some options to get it working, but it's super easy. First, go to Project Settings, File System, Import, and turn Blender on. Then Editor Settings, File System, Import, and point to the location of your Blender 3 or above installation. These little things are called jaggies, or artifacts caused by the rendering of diagonals or curves. And unless they are part of a retro art style for your game, you should get rid of them. We have technology! There is a performance cost, but for most PC users, anti-aliasing is a default these days. There are a number of anti-aliasing options available in the basic project settings for both 2D and 3D, as well as some alternative options like screen space and temporal. These changes are not advanced or even that difficult, but not doing them may make your game feel lazy and you want it to feel polished. So like and subscribe for more Gato content and as always, keep creating.